Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up custom key combinations with iOS 5. And this works on every iOS 5 device, whether it be an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod Touch. So, first of all, we're going to go into settings. This uses the keyboard. And we're going to go, go down to general. And from there, keyboard. Now, if you've ever used the application text expander, you'll probably be pretty familiar with this. And it works pretty much the same way. Uh, but now you can get it on iOS. So you can see here I've set up some shortcuts, uh, but I can add a new one. So basically, anything that you type out a lot, you can make a shortcut for so that you don't have to type it out a lot. So let's say I'm always responding to emails and I'm always writing sincerely. If I type out sincerely and then comma, so there's my phrase, and all I have to do is add a shortcut. So let's say I just want it to be SI and there's my shortcut and all I have to do is hit save and you can see I've set up a couple other ones here by default you get OMW which is on my way and I've set up a couple different ones with my name and I'm always switching YouTube channels on my device as well so I have my channel listed in here so that I can quickly switch between them. I don't have to type it out every time so for example let's go into something like notes so I can show you how it works so let's say I'm typing an email let's say and I'm writing blah 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 blah. I don't really have a subject, but then I want to end it, so I would write sincerely Michael Steeper. So all I have to do now is type SI, and you can see the little shortcut that comes up says sincerely, and I hit space, enter, and then all I have to do is type MS, and it comes up with my name, kind of like autocorrect does, it pretty much works in the same way. And I have to hit space again, and you can see there that it set up my entire closing to my email just like that. And all I really had to type is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters, and it brought out the entire ending for an email. So the uses for these keyboard shortcuts in iOS 5 are pretty much unlimited for anything that you type quite often. I can see this being really handy if you are texting all the time and you want to be able to reply to text quicker. So just as a theoretical example, I could have, ha ha, that's funny and the shortcut could be LOL. So whenever I'm typing a text and I write LOL, it automatically changes it to haha, that's funny if I choose. So this can really save a ridiculous amount of time if you type a lot on your device. And plus, using the on-screen keyboard isn't always the easiest, so anything that can save you time is great. So this is just one of the 200 features that came to iOS 5, and it's probably one of the most overlooked but yet most useful. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you. As always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on regarding iOS or Mac OS X, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.